Hello? Okay, um, so this is a demonstration uh, showing the uh, SAS uh, exercises for generalized linear model. So here uh, on my laptop, I start SAS uh, point 9.2 and then I go to file and open programs I'll locate the SAS program in the exercises GLM XS1 okay so this is the source in this uh, exercise we're going to look at fitting a, a gamma regression model to lifetime data but for this data set uh, there's no censoring for the lifetime all right so here you have a data step uh, using the input and data line uh, we talked about this is the simplest way to read in the data set so I just highlight this chunk of code and click run and uh, I check in the log it seems everything uh, runs smoothly uh, the data set work.a has uh, 90 observations to variables so it went well so I go down and I have another data set called data set B and uh, I highlight it and uh, run it. So here, there's another uh, data log file, and everything runs smoothly. Okay. Um, and then we, I need to merge the two data set. And to merge the two data set, uh, it's a pretty easy. Um, we just put in the uh, data step, data life that, and set A and B. Okay. So run these two and uh, then you can see it combined uh, data set A and B so 90 observations are from uh, data set A 111 observations from the data set B so the work a life dat dot data set has 201 observations so basically just uh, add the rows of uh, data B to the rows of data A okay so once we have a data set, uh, here's the code, SAS code for fitting a generalized linear model and the distribution is the gamma distribution and the link function is the natural log function. And we specify a type 3 analysis uh, to get the likelihood ratio test for the effects. And uh, gamma distribution is a example is an example of continuous distribution, which is skewed, not normally distributed. Okay, so this is uh, why we have generalized linear models because we want to model data that is not normally distributed. Okay, so this is kind of a bare bone um, SAS code for fitting um, generalized linear model. So I click on that. So after you run any chunk of SAS uh, code, you want to come to the log file and just make sure, verify everything runs successfully. So algorithm converged. And also, uh, the scale parameter was estimated by maximum likelihood. OK. So then you go to the output file. So the, here is the output. You go uh, model information. You can see uh, the output for the generalized linear model. It tells you the data set name, the distribution, the link function, and the dependent variable is lifetime. And tell you it tells you a number of observation read 201, number of observation used. So there's no missing data. And then it gives you the information about uh, the categorical variable. So this is the class level information. Uh, so there's a variable called MFG, uh, perhaps the manufacturing. And it has two levels, A and B. Okay. 
and uh, then you get to the criteria uh, for assessing goodness of fit, uh, the variance, the value over degree of freedom. Uh, you can see the uh, Pearson chi-square uh, scale of the deviance. They are pretty much close to one. So, uh, so this is a very rough uh, indicator of a relatively good model fit. Okay, and so algorithm converged and give you these uh, parameter estimates. So here, these, uh, these column estimate are the column for the beta hats. Those are the estimate for regression uh, coefficients. And then there's standard errors and there are 95% com confidence intervals. Okay. So uh, by default, SAS will compute the world 95% confidence interval uh, and of course, we can request other type of confidence interval like the likelihood ratio uh, or profile likelihood confidence interval. Okay, and then give you the world chi square, and then give you the p value. Okay, I want to um, I want to bring your attention to this uh, line, the scale. Uh, you scale like if we fit a Poisson regression. This scale parameter is one, but for gamma, it is estimated by maximum likelihood from the data. Okay. So, uh, so these are the uh, beta coefficients in this column. So, if you want to write down the uh, regression equation, you can use the numbers here. Okay. And of course, if you want to test uh, the overall effect for manufacturing, then you use the uh, like little ratio statistic from the type 3 analysis. And uh, it's 0.8985, so the manufacturing A and the manufacturer B, there's no significant difference between the two in terms of lifetime. All right? So, um, so I do want to um, point out, so the gamma distribution the gamma regression has a very special property. Okay, so this is the this is the source. So I want to copy the source. Uh, let's go to uh, this uh, original documentation from SAS. Let's see here. Okay, uh, we need to go to the procedures, proc gen mode, and examples proc gen mode, and uh, we tried the gamma distribution. So if you ask why we have this uh, scale parameter and what uh, does it mean, um, we really need to go back to um, to the um, response probability distribution. So here. So this is the formula for the general uh, exponential family of distributions. Uh, in particular, if we have the gamma distribution, then you have this uh, uh, PDF here. And the um, parameter phi, which is the constant term uh, in the uh, variance function in the general linear model, is actually for the gamma distribution. Um, it is uh, the index parameter of the gamma distribution uh, new uh, to the negative one power. So it's the reciprocal of new. So that is the relationship between uh, you know the phi parameter and the new uh, parameter in the gamma distribution. So uh, we can really uh, get the scale uh, from directly from one of the gamma of distributions parameter called the index parameter. Okay, 
and uh, so that is why uh, if we um, explore more in this case so if we uh, have the um, yeah if we use the uh, profile likelihood confidence interval by specifying uh, the LRCI, so that's the uh, likelihood ratio confidence interval, uh, we can get a uh, likelihood ratio 95% confidence interval for the scale parameter uh, between 0 0.6959 and 0 0.9762. And because the uh, intercept is estimated log mean of the gamma distribution so we can also calculate the mean of the life mean life of the parts is uh, um, mu equal to exponential of intercept which is uh, 6.19 uh, 6.1391 so we're getting the intercept here okay so the mean is 463.64 I'm not sure what the unit of time is, maybe minutes or maybe hours. And the scale parameter in the PROC gem mode is the inverse of the gamma dispersion parameter. So it is sometimes called the gamma index parameter. Okay, So that is uh, something special about the gamma distribution. Okay, uh, A value of 1 for the index parameter corresponds to uh, the exponential function uh, distribution. Right now, our estimate, uh, you know, uh, index parameter, uh, the scale parameter is about 0.8274, and we can get a 95% uh, uh, profile likelihood confidence interval, uh, which is this, and does not contain one. So the hypothesis of an exponential distribution of the data is for rejected uh, at the 0.05 level. And we can get a uh, confidence interval for the mean life, uh, which is uh, 399.57 and 542.18. Okay, so this is a, a simple example showing you the how to fit a gamma regression distribution, and what's special about the gamma distribution is uh, the scale parameter in the general linear model is uh, has a relationship with the index parameter for the gamma uh, distribution. Okay, and uh, that is uh, the, all, the entire content for this uh, video.